I'd been eager to try some pork blood soup, a delicacy from the Philippines known as dinuguan, or chocolate meat. No kidding, chocolate meat. And there's not a bit of chocolate in it. But as I live nowhere near the Philippines, and as there's no big Filipino population near me, I knew I'd have to make it myself. Now obviously the recipe begins with pork. Since this knife has been sharpened to the point where it could easily shave someone, any difficulty you see in the cutting of this pork is mine and mine alone. It's not real dinuguan without some organ meat, so I'm gonna use pork liver. If you thought it was bad cutting vegetables, just look at my liver work. Now this whole pile of meat goes into this hot pan with oil. While the pork cooks, I need to chop up some onions. Let's not focus more than a few seconds on my onion cutting skills. And now the chopped onions and minced garlic go into the meat. I didn't subject you to video of me mincing garlic. Actually, I cheated and used pre-minced garlic. I like to toast the garlic a bit in the oil before mixing the whole thing together, but letting it toast too long can make it bitter. Next, the lid goes back in the pot. And now the most interesting ingredient. Here it is, the pig blood. Often it comes in a purely liquid form, but sometimes it comes in a slightly coagulated condition. This will work just fine. The name Dinuguan comes from the root word dugo, which means blood. Makes sense, right? I can't believe I've never eaten pork blood until now. Crazy. I'm not crazy. What I really popped in my mouth was a mixture of cocktail sauce and Worcestershire sauce. I really picked the right color for cooking with blood today. Now I need to add water, and probably the most controversial ingredient to this whole dish, vinegar. Haha, ha. yeah that's the limit to my sense of humor. First the water, then the vinegar. Eh, a little more. Now before this starts really cooking, I'm going to add two ingredients, peppers and fish sauce. Both of which I use in a lot more things than you would think. The peppers are supposed to be finger peppers, which are not very high in the Scoville unit of spiciness, still below jalapenos. But I'm using Anaheim peppers, which are considerably less spicy than finger peppers. Am I afraid of spiciness? No. Am I just really bad at buying peppers? Yeah. Now the whole concoction cooks for at least an hour while it thickens. Well, it's cooked long enough, and it smells really good. I think I see why Dinaguan is often called chocolate meat. The vinegar cuts the richness of the multitude of pork ingredients and adds a great subtlety of flavor. That might just be one of the best things I've ever eaten. I'm totally sure about this. It's rich, it has kind of an irony taste, but to the liver, but I like that. It's minerally. Having cooked for so long in the liquid, the pork is very tender. I just got a whole bite of liver, and that was delicious. And the uh, normal pork absorbs some of the flavor from the pepper. You can definitely taste the fish sauce, but it's not. Overpowered. But this is delicious. And if you're not squeamish about eating blood and you're okay with pork, I think you should definitely try this. I can't recommend this enough. This is just amazing.
just delicious. 